Well, I didn't think I'd come to making yet another script on this SMG4 situation. It is quite upsetting how my channel is practically stuck to this and it isn't painful to make these videos, but it also limits my creativity to an extent if that makes sense. I want to give Stupid Waluigi a few congratulations on having a video he didn't want to blow up. Blow up. The video is very well explained and detailed with quite some funny moments, and he has done a lot of research into it like the date on SMG4's laptop within the map actually leads to yet another SMG4 episode where they were in the Wild West. So good catch there, um, that video will be in the description. Anyways, new day, new teaser, new video, new explanation. Here we are guys, and well uh, this is an image, it's, it's quite a big part to talk about, so um, let's go through every single bit of detail that we possibly can find within this image. Detail number one. Stasic window and painting. On the image we can see at Swag's head that there's like appears to be some sort of static image that is most likely replacing a window or a painting. I don't really care. What this is, is most likely signalling that the static that was from the TV is giving us the hint that the TV is indeed following us. If you haven't noticed already from the previous abomination of videos I've created and the BSP map. Detail number two. Meggie's beanie has a bullet hole. Now this one is quite extraordinary to explain. There isn't much to go off with this as Meggie seems to clearly be okay. So why have a gunshot directly in the hat and not have any major damage be done to Meggie? Unless this was done by an unwanted visitor which they got rid of before this moment. It appears to also be hit on by a nail so it hasn't been simply hung up but rather nailed in by someone. Here I really, you know, do not have a leading factor of what is going on unless it is uh, tying in with the Inklings back in the episode we interrupt this broadcast. The Inklings or whoever told the Inklings to steal the beanie could potentially be after Meggy, as the Inklings do give us a hint that they were told by someone to go after her and the beanie. Detail number three, the dead rubber ducky slash ducky head. Tari loves ducks. Especially ducks that are alive, not dead. I mean, I, I don't think anyone likes dead ducks, even psychos, but whatever. In the top left, there is a rubber ducky that has pretty much been beheaded. But, uh, can, can I say it on YouTube? Oh well. This obviously gives us a feeling that something is also after Tara by giving the hint of a dead duck as a potential warning signal. I don't have any more lead on that, by the way, so... Detail number four. Swag's counters are glitched, slash untextured, purposefully. Yes, it's not a mistake, pretty obvious it's not a mistake, but just in case if people thought it was a mistake, it's not. Anyway, this could be signaling, as I've said in the past, a corruption in which the assets that are being displayed by, let's say, Winston, the villain, is not loading correctly and acting up, but that's just work off that one. Detail number five. Tari's arm's gone, mate. Yes, I literally included mate in this script. Tari's cybernetic arm is missing in this image. We know from Meta Runner, Tari is really powerful thanks to the arm, and Meta Runner arms do a lot in general to significantly improve performance. But Tari's in particular is very special and can do much more broader amount of things. So uh, why is it gone? What I believe it is is maybe being shot off, like you can see Lux do to, is it Marco? I haven't watched it in a while. Anyways, it has probably been shot off or dismantled as they are in the Wild West after all, so guns are pretty common in a wild place. But this can also tie into the mystery of yesterday where there were two Taris. Maybe this is the real Tari here and the fake one has stolen the arm because the fake Tari couldn't generate the power of the Meta Runner arm due to how much power it would consume to be copied. Detail number six. SMG4's hand of cars is floating. This ties in with detail number four, as I feel the scene that is being played out by all the fake characters, in my theory, are not being properly improvised and therefore result in obvious glitches like SMG4 not holding his hand but it being displayed that he is. My theory is definitely getting more out there and possibly false, but you know, it's worth a shot. Detail number seven, eyes. Yup, there's eyes. Eyes below where Tari is selling. In fact, do I know why there's a eyes below the table next to Tari? No. Want me to guess? Sure. Whatever that has managed to take a hold of Tari has also managed to make her a puppet and mimic all her doings and in doing that is now monitoring if Tari will stick to the commands she's been given. Once again, a bit out there, but it's eyes. And it's a unique set of eyes, not cartoony like the TVs. It's a close rendition I can think of is Melanie's mask because that dude does have like a similar kind of shape but you know i think that's long gone out the law but hey i may be wrong detail number eight 
the posters of Maggie keep changing and within that does the text. I'm getting longer with these titles. In the first wanted poster that we've been teased by, Maggie is wanted for one billion dollars, which is um it's quite a lot actually, uh, well, yeah, sure, one, one billion, yeah, sure, mate. In the poster we can see she is looking at whoever took the picture in a way of looking down for her. The next one we get is Maggie being wanted alive again for one billion, however her face is much more awake and serious as she stares into the poster. At last we get the one in this image that has Maggie worried. I mean, that's the name of the expression face in Gmod, so... Yeah, but a big noticeable change is how the reward has changed from 1 billion to your freedom. Now with the previous detail talking about how Katari could be a puppet, to free herself, she might need to kill or capture Meggy for her own freedom. Now that's not one of my stronger views and I don't know where it is guys and fuck the script's getting long. Detail number 9, the death slash reaper on the king's card. This. Reaper guy has an arrow that points directly to Tari or the potential K for Kings. However, I believe it's K for Kill because, you know, it's got bloody Reaper on it. Just saying. But considering all this murdering going on, Caesars, I wouldn't disagree with myself. And plus, uh, who's, uh, whose hand is that? Now, what I may think is it could be one shot runs. But now that is completely out of the park, and with that it could be true, but it could not. And I've not been right with everything. I've had my fair share of predictions in SMG4 that I've actually gone right when they're released, but this one seems too far to be true, so I believe it will not. I believe instead it might be another spy, just like I said in the previous video with it being a cat. Now, the cat one I'm definitely certain on, because, you know, they wouldn't just put a cat in there, you know. And all the people are making jokes saying, oh, it's the Fortnite cat, it's kits or whatever. I don't care about that. I don't care. I have a bigger, you know, brain, guys. I'm joking, I don't. We all have, like, a similar brain, okay? But I just wasn't praying into the jokes. And I was like, you know, I think that's definitely going to be someone, you know, watching, you know? Because it has been eyes in the posters. So I just wanted to get at that. But yeah, that's that's all I've got from what I see here. I don't see anything else. So if you guys want to explain your theories, by all means, Discord server is in the description or you can comment. I don't really mind. And I'll read every single one of yours. Sometimes reply to, so yeah. Thanks for sticking by and hope you have a great rest of your night. And make sure you do watch Stupid Waluigi's video if you do want like a clear oversight of the BSP map because that was explained in excruciant detail so well done.